Hello there. Um, we are hoping to bring to you another boring episode of um, going from one point to another drama free. But alas, we cannot do that because uh, we had a bit of drama. Yeah, there was a bit of drama, but uh, we'll tell you about that. Right now we are in Long Point where we anchored mm -hmm. and uh, it is a beautiful spot. The uh, journey, we left Aikens at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning to get here around 10 o'clock so that we could snag a good spot. The scenery along the way was just gorgeous. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful. And uh, lots of rocks and uh, islands and those types of things to look at and uh, to avoid. Uh, and... Uh, but well, not not only, I mean, you said we got here to get a good spot, and that's only, that's the secondary reason. The primary reason was Sam found out that the winds were supposed to get really bad in the afternoon. So we didn't want to wait too long yeah. at that first anchorage, leave in the afternoon, get over here, and then have to fight with wind. Yeah, that's so right. I thought that was really smart of you to get us yeah. over here early, um, get us in position, so we wouldn't, we would be prepared for the wind. Yeah. So uh, we got here, and unfortunately, there was a boat that had <laughs> an idea probably an hour before us. So they were anchored in the perfect spot in the marina, and we had to marina. I'm sorry, <laughs> the anchorage, <laughs> and, and uh, so we had to kind of uh, zigging around, and you'll see a screenshot of how we ziggied around to find the uh, anchor point. We found an anchor point. Um, they were in about 20 feet of water, which would have been ideal and had mm. us a good space. Uh, we were in about seven feet of water, okay. which meant a little less road that had to come out. Right. But when we anchored here, I mean, Sam found the perfect spot, put the anchor down. You would think we have been anchoring our whole lives. Yes. And as you'll see here in a little bit... Uh, there was one faulty piece of, I guess, equipment, <clears throat> our bridle. Well, so we're sitting around, mm -hmm. enjoying the day, both working on projects, doing uh, different things. Then we decided to have happy hour. So I went downstairs <laughs> to make a little cheese and meat and olive tray. Sam's sitting up here. I think you just poured a beer. Yeah, and, and then we, 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 we started swinging a little bit, but mm. that was cool because we knew it was going to be windy. So I brought the tray up, and... We hear a clunk, <laughs> and uh, what had happened is the bridle came off. So I went out, readjusted it, put it on. Now, what's a about, bridle, Sam? Yeah, because bridle, we have a lot of our family that... The bridle are, basically is a, it, it's, it's a piece of line... Um, that stretches and uh, more than chain would stretch and then it hooks onto the chain and it takes the pressure off of the windlass and so we heard that clunk again yeah and so the, the windlass is on top and our chain fits perfectly into it so we use foot pedals to lower the anchor or, or raise the anchor and that windlass is is a monumental significant part of anchoring because without it what would we do? Just lower an anchor right. ourselves over the... Anyway, we're very glad we have a windlass. Yeah. We do not want to mistreat it. So Sam puts that bridle on to take the pressure off of the chain and the anchor and the wind... Well, not the chain and anchor, but just the windlass. Yeah, it takes the pressure off of the, uh, yeah. the windlass. So uh, eventually, uh, about three trips out there... The wind, boat, though. Uh, the wind was In, from the time to the clank, 25 knots, yeah. 23 that's incredible yeah, so uh anyway even in the anchorage and uh we were just kind of it was just kind of coming right down the cut of the anchorage where we were anchored so the choice was to either pull it up <clears throat> or try to secure it and yeah. uh we I couldn't like do, that. do that yeah. so uh anyway what <laughs> happened was <laughs> we had to secure it i came up a way to secure it but it meant that rev had to operate the boat. So we had our headsets on. Okay, I gotta tell you, this is my worst nightmare and I am not even exaggerating. In the beginning, when we got the boat and we were gonna hire a captain, he was gonna train both of us and I was okay with that because he, I vaguely remember him saying in case of emergency, but pff, 
come on, look who I'm with. Yeah. He he um, he can do is transferring all his uh, skills to boating has just uh, worked perfectly. And it was not like I tried a number of times <laughs> during our journey to tell her, hey, I at least want you to sit here and operate. Are you going to, I told you so here in front of our friends and family <laughs> and However, subscribers. today was the day, trial by Yeah, so fire. we started, I tried to prevent it. <laughs> because we put our headsets on. I went to the bow. He was in the bridge, and he was. I was telling him where the um, anchor was, so I would point, and it was like, you're going to have to come up here because... I need the chain here and, and a whole big... I was, I didn't even hear the reasons. All I heard was, you're going to have to come up here and move the boat. Yeah. So, I talked her through it. She got up there. <laughs> you make it sound like and, it's not uh, a big deal. She did deal. a great job. It was a big deal. It's it's left, and I use the term left instead of port, and right <laughs> instead of starboard. But that I was, appreciate that, began, yes. Uh, Before left, he... forward... And one second, and then neutral. Yes. Okay. And so we went through a series of that. Rev did a great job. I was able to tie the bridle yeah. onto the chain using right. the rope. And uh, he also, okay. before he left the bridge, he showed me how to do the stern and the bow thrusters. And he said, just keep us lined up to this sailboat who is anchored up ahead. That was my line. So I'd use the bow. I'd be like, I can't do it. I told them how I'm doing is like, use the stern that way and the bow the other way. And I didn't, that worked really well. So yeah, kept us while. lined up. But what are those black shifter things? The black the shifters. Yeah. Oh, shifters. Okay. The black shifters over here on this side. The bow and stern thrusters over here and the shifters are over here. So I was like, and you go, uh, uh, left. Well, two seconds. I go one, two, and then I don't know what happened. I want to think it's divine intervention, but a calmness came over me, and um, I started doing it and repeating back to him what I was doing. So I would say I gained a lot of confidence yeah. in a uh, testy situation. She did a great job under pressure, <laughs> and so now uh, we're going to do a little bit more training. You think I can fly way. a plane? Oh, I think so. I think but. I could, too. I'm that confident now. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what we are going to do is a little bit more training with Rev <laughs> on the bridge, just in case of an emergency. So, okay. So let's go on. All right. We get, uh, he he rigs the um, bridle, ties it up in a rope so it's not going anywhere. But do we relax? No. We have to sit and watch us swing around on the chart plotter. Uh, he goes to bed with the chart plotter uh, app on his phone so he can see things happening. Um, I slept great. I had full confidence that everything was fine. And that's what I want. I want my first mate ready. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. anyway, the captain here this morning has uh, slept in, but we're going to get underway True. and mm -hmm. uh, do some training on the way. Remember what Confucius says. When the student is ready, the teacher will come. So today, the student is ready, has overcome her fears of being on the bridge and in control. Yes. All right. That's about it from Long Point, and uh, we will see you on the next journey on the Here's to Us All on right. America's Great Loop. <laughs> see you. Bye.